Hi, we are here at the Red Bull Ring in Austria and I've got Christian with me, our expert in drive systems for the Taycan. We'll show you how to get the best performance from the Taycan Turbo GT while staying safe on the track. So Christian, what shall we check first? Well Sabine, before hitting the track, we need to make sure the car is probably set for track driving. So let's start with checking the tires. All right. The Taycan Turbo GT comes with specifically developed sport tires. Be sure to carefully inspect the tires for any signs of damage or wear. Tire pressure plays a crucial role in track performance and can be adjusted to lower levels than usual for better grip. Use the tire pressure monitoring system to track changes as pressure can vary due to temperature and external factors. At the end of your session, don't forget to reset the pressure to normal levels. Next, inspect the brakes. The Taycan Turbo GT is equipped with Porsche ceramic composite brakes, which are essential for safe track driving. Inspect the pads and discs for wear or damage before each session. Make sure the brake air spoilers and ducts are intact and secured for proper cooling. Well, so here's a tip. When you're on the track with other cars, on straights, the electric motor lets you catch up quickly. But the Taycan's weight means longer braking distances than, for example, a 911. Therefore, adjust your braking points accordingly. Christian, what's next? Well, we're finished outside. Let's jump inside the car and check for track settings. It's time to verify the vehicle's state of charge. The state of charge can be easily monitored via the PCM and should be above 90% to ensure consistent power output during your track session. Okay. Well, so keep in mind that at higher SOC levels, the recuperation is going to be reduced, which increases the load on the mechanical brakes. Before heading out, it's important to activate track endurance mode at least 15 minutes before the session. This preconditions the battery and drive train components for the optimal performance. The Taycan Turbo GT will automatically switch to Sport Plus mode for perfectly balanced driving on track. To maintain a 90% SOC, keep the vehicle plugged in during preconditioning. So tires, brakes, battery level over 90% and track endurance mode activated, we're all set. Now that you're on the track, keep a close eye on how your Taycan Turbo GT responds. Monitor the battery temperature and power levels, especially during extended high-speed runs. If temperatures rise above 55 degrees Celsius, power may be reduced automatically to protect the components. Our brakes meet the highest standards, however fading can occur. Slow down and take a few cooling laps. Remember, the Taycan Turbo GT comes with a tech mode for extra power and responsiveness, especially useful in slower sections. If you don't need it, abort the mode to save energy and manage battery temperature by pulling the pedal again. Once your session is done, always take a few cooldown laps before parking. This will prevent heat damage to critical components, including the brakes. Follow these tips to get the best performance from your Porsche on the track while staying in control. Check your brakes, tires and tire pressure and cool down properly. For more details, refer to the car manual and Porsche track driving guidelines. And before hitting the road again, reset the tire pressure to factory settings. Enjoy your Porsche Taycan Turbo GT on the track and drive safe. <laughs>